<laughs> You're dead. What it do? What it do, guys? Today we got a GBG, and we're gonna play with an old time classic. Actually, it's been a while. When was the last time I actually played with Kicker Rat? <laughs> Since we got more character spaces, you know, 350. I'm at two feet, I got a hundred more. And I'm throwing away some pieces that I don't need because he's like one of the few characters that scales with defense. I was like, might as well throw this on him before I throw away all the pieces. So, hey, we're gonna play with Kicker Rat. Now these are his stats, as you can tell, with 1700 defense, 1800 HP, no speed, 100 crit chance, 215 crit damage because every piece had crit damage because it was Sermius before when the defense was, and 123 effect res. Other than that, we're gonna get a GVG, and I might put, I'm gonna put Rocket Punch on because when it first came out, I didn't have a fully maxed out Rocket Punch, but now we do. So we're gonna go to GVG to see what we can do with Kiki Rat, and hopefully he survived long enough. All right, game number one. We got Bologna, Akatsis, and Kiki Rat. Bologna, I spruced up a little by that. I mean, I just gave her more Mola Gores in her S2 and her S1, which I probably should. No, I'll wait till Etta come out, because I got pity for Etta. <laughs> and then by the way, we got Bibulus, just to be there with a counterattack. And she's on injury with the sheer. I probably should increase this, but eh. It won't matter too much unless you get one shot it. Elvera and then Ravi. I'm hoping I'm hoping Ravi counterattacks a lot. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> we could have chosen a more stable group like ML Ken and just sat there with ML Luna, but you guys saw the saw it all before. But here's what I'm banking on, right? I'm hope when we happen to do get a debuff, right? Can't we talk this out? I don't like fighting. This Esther's gonna hit like a truck. Do we bank on a, let me see. Okay, what do we need? Greater attack would be good for Bologna. Crit damage would be good. Speed would not be good. Increased defense would be great so she doesn't get shot down by Lilius. Crit resistance would also be great. Revive would be great, okay. Stealth would be great. Oh, stealth would be kind of good. It would, you know, stop the first. Mm. Hey, see, if I push her by 50%, she's scoot up by another 20%, and I won't be... I'll take the S3 to the dome piece. You know what? I'm, I'm taking a risk here, because there's not that many debuffs, in all honesty, besides the Provoke. And I've oh, got the Immunity, which is actually pretty good. Well, we won't get the Provoke. So I'm going to hope we survive this. We heal up. And hopefully Kicker Red get a counter attack and don't kill himself, but Is that all you had to show me? She's gonna be dual attacking at her because she's a low to the HP. And I feel like we could honestly kill Ren. With our S3 alone, and give everybody vigor. But she's dead. We'll try to keep Kicker at alive. I don't want to S3 and trigger the counterattack, so we're gonna S1. I get the rocket punch. He's gonna die. Kicker is dead. Oh no, he's not dead. He's not dead. He's not dead! <laughs> Bologna! He's dead. <laughs> if we get a counter attack from her, that would be great. But we never got a counter attack from her. We'll just heal up from this. <laughs> it's like reduce the damage because our S3 is probably up and then it knows what I hurt. But it won't hurt too much because it don't scale with her attack. <laughs> oh boy. Kicker Red is dead. <laughs> well we gotta spin him in RTA. No matter what it takes. The glory is, is mine. mine. <laughs> that is impressive effectiveness. You get her. Well, that was unfortunate. Welcome to my 
I give it to him. He probably have a lot of effectiveness. Way above 250 effect risk. I mean, 200 effectiveness. But damn, Elvera got debuff. I don't really enjoy this. I can do it too. If only my Ravi counterattacks. Uh, if was a good word. I'm assuming he's gonna get. I'm assuming he's gonna get the knockback also. Okay. Are we counterattacking any? No, okay, we should have just. Okay, we just never, we never got it. Apparently, not a single counterattack. Okay. I can't lose. <laughs> Why do I ready counterattack? <laughs> Elvira, she's around two hundred and fifty effect res with her artifact. Yeah, give or take. So he just had to be like one fifty effectiveness. But he landed both the defense break and silence. Everybody else got one, so that was pretty impressive. All right, game number two. Kicker is dead, so you guys get to see the boring stuff. Ava Luna, LPK, doing LPK things at 288 speed with, uh, I forgot her name already, damn. She get 10 extra speed, but she's missing like 0.4% crit chance. We're probably gonna miss a crit. And then bottom, we got Bad Kitty doing Bad Kitty things just for Bellin. She has 260 with Champions Trophy. And we got Fairytale just to throw some water on him to cool him down after what happened the first game. She's on a counter set also. And then we got Bella that is on an Elbrus, but she is on injury. So there's that. <laughs> it would be great to redirect Provoke because she, she does not on a counter. But it's an off chance. But anyway, with an S3, the seal, the seal him up real good. I like we should get one of Genoa first. We both know how this ends. No, I let's see if we can kill her. That no one has if we can kill her, then Veronica hopefully can lay the bomb. No mercy. I am sword. The sword is me. Players, attack. Is it a hundred percent chance? It can be resisted. You can't stop me. <laughs> it can be resisted. Just remember that. The main thing we want is the bomb. It resists the defense break, but I take the bomb, so we can keep them stunned. This should kill, yeah. And it will S3, and then whoever's gonna get hit with this S3 is gonna hurt. Maybe Veronica. I think it's going on to Luna, because I saw her picture in the last second. But hopefully it's not towards Luna, I guess we're Luna. But she's thick enough to actually survive this. And it will soul burn and kill. Or we, we thought we killed. But look how easy this team is for defense now, since everybody has the same defense. And Emma Luna just, you click a button and then all of a sudden you win. <laughs> oh boy. Every defense is like this. I wish, I really, honestly wish it wasn't. But at the same time, in order to do it, you gotta, I'm gonna get his championship trophy, get with the pro. Elvers? Damn. Elvers? All right, good. Can we get the second part like this? Yeah, I'm gonna kill her. Yeah, we're gonna redirect Provoke. And hopefully she does a salvo counter. Hmm. Did we didn't heal much, did we? What would be better, Provoke? Oh, the defense buff would be really good. What a blind at minus speed. I'll say the defense, let's say the defense buff, because I don't think I'm gonna get the blind though, because I need to so burn it order for that to part one, part two, right? No. No. This is it. No. Rocket Punch is the best artifact in the game. Okay, we can't win. <laughs> Rocket, but Rocket Punch is the best artifact in the game. <laughs> Alright, game number three. We're gonna say to Luda. Tamata Lulu. She's doing her thing with Book because Book is the best artifact in the game for a mage. Ella Ghost. Doing Ella Ghost 2 at 293. Will he outspeed? No, I think it's 10 speed over, so she should be faster than Ella Ghost, right? He's 293 and she's 302. This should be good enough. We, sh we should have out. If Ella Ghost outspeed Mage Luna, then I'm going to cry in a corner, but 
Other than that, they might be all effect rest. That's why they have Bellas, the so we can't sober and ignore effect rest. <laughs> Finally, we got Tayu. So when she's a non-attack, we get her Sierra push, and then we get her enrage buff. On top of that, we bring Elena. So they can't counterattack because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna see nothing but Elvis and counterattack when it happens. And we also bring Bromaine just to put a defense break in the silence on them. Hopefully, hopefully, hear me out on this one. <laughs> we don't miss. Alright, we're gonna ask her to see if we can get a seal on Genoa. If we do, then. We golden. Okay. You punks aren't worth my time. What does he mean that fist break on her? Just business. Okay, good. Just because one, we could kill her with this S3 and the briefcase will unless she has the most attack, I wouldn't that'd be a that'd be a weird that'd be a weird build, but we will chuck a briefcase in the Genoa. Get rid of her. Check a briefcase. You don't want this. You don't want this. <laughs> They're macadamia. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want these cookies. They're macadamia nuts. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm allergic to them. They're garlic. <laughs> these cookies are garlic. You don't want this. <laughs> like, ah. So <laughs> put a suitcase full of garlic. <laughs> like, oh, <it> goes. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of mean even though you're a mafia boss. <laughs> Why do I make myself laugh? <laughs> By the way, my camera been off the whole time. You guys didn't tell me. By the way, game number two. You're gonna S three. Tay's gonna scoot up because we don't have the artifact. Oh no, not. Do we sober? Extra turn. Now we're gonna save the sober for Tayu's S one, and hopefully this eighty percent chance doesn't you know stop. Okay, good. Know your place. Mm. I honestly want to get rid of her. Rid of this boom, boom. So you go to somebody else. We did crit. Oh, she was on Elvers. You know, just because it's sober. <laughs> it's like, you know, just because. Let's just sober. <laughs> Oh, he did clear the way. I'm not gonna lie, he did clear the way. So let's go to RTA, because he right down in the first game. And these games were kind of quick. All right, we have Blood Moon Haste here, but the thing is, he doesn't have gear. So if you guys are wondering why not use Blood Moon Haste, he's missing a pair of boots that I don't have built and or found, or the game really hates me to find them. So <laughs> that's why, that's, that's pretty much why. All right, we'll get brighter with a bridle and whatnot. We should get bridle of uh, last heart Serbia. I want to first pick Kickerat. What's the, what are the chances that they ban Kickerat? All right, we got Albedo, Euphine, Maid, and Bibby. We're gonna get rid of this because they have no way to deal with it. In all honesty, we don't have that many diva besides Bibby, but they got a counterattack for that. Okay, they got rid of her. It is honestly nice. What about kick right in the back? I want to see what they, they they might or may do. They might just go for uh, May because you know she gotta die, or she brings everybody back. It'd be annoying too. Is that an S three? What El Beto? What El Beto S two? Why are they why are they destroying the streets? You guys hear that too, right? You guys shouldn't be hearing that. <laughs> Well, El Beto taking a hit. I mean, El Beto being here, she can take the hit. And we should honestly be fine. This S3 might hurt us, depending on what lands. Alright, cool. Nothing landed. We are going to S3, so he doesn't have his S3 anymore, so we get the debuff. So they do counter attack, we put a defense break on him, right? So boom, boom, boom. Counter. We'll guard her secret. And hopefully we put a defense break on her. Now we need to try to kill her as quick as possible. 
Actually, we could kill Zahat, but Zahat's not my real problem. I don't think Zahat has enough to, like damage to get through Kikara's defense if he starts stacking up. And the thing is, her S3 and Salvo is going to be like a pain to me. <laughs> That's pretty much it. The Salvo. The salvo and whatnot is gonna be a pain to me, so we need to try to kill her quick as possible. Everything I think we can honestly kill through S1, but a blind would be great. A roaming heart forever yeah, to try to kill her quick as possible, because if you stay around too long, she do things. You can't really hit Kickerat, right? Are you here for the garden? Can we silence her and push her back? Yeah. She's on counter, baby doesn't really do too much. I'll cut you. A blind Elbris or do we S1? We'll go to S3. Just to throw some more water on him. Yo, downtown is popping off. Hey, we got rid of her. And now we get rid of Zahat now. There we go. You learned nothing from last time. Is it? We need to try to get Kron down to like one HP to proc his thing while he's blinded. There'll be a greater chance for him to actually miss his S3. Oh, this will proc it just because. Oh no, no buffs. Yeah, there's, not much, there's not much they can do. They're not going to hit Kicker, right? So I need to build a team where they actually focus Kiki. Double edge croissant. We got the Gardener Secret. Hopefully, this cleans off as it procs. Beautiful. Bonk. <laughs> Hopefully, this cleans off as it procs. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Good job, <laughs> good job, kicker at. Technically, they don't have any way to deal with Violet. We'll get rid of this just because they have no way to deal with Violet. Besides, the giant squid is going to eat me, but other than that, that's not a problem, right? <laughs> the giant squid could go through my HP bar. Wait, did I? I don't know if I re I was re gearing them, I think. They won't, they, they won't notice, right? <laughs> He has some gear. Get out of my sight. What a waste of time. I like the part where I like the part where legitimately <laughs> you create Violet and she has like basically build no crit chance. Unless that's a crit chance leave. I'm not, you know, judging. If that's what you do, that's what you do. But why is it a crit chance leave? <laughs> Ask me why is I Chris Chase leave. Tell me. Let's set sail. Alyssa, we can stop her. We're gonna legit have to break when Vita's gonna die. He already has two stacks. So I might as well bring up Alicia to give her a chance. And we're gonna take this off and leave. And I don't think we could S through S. Do we S three Alicia? She doesn't get healed from this. I'm pretty sure, right? We go for a two prong. We're going for a two prong attack instead of S three. Okay, good. That's good. That's really good damage. It didn't kill, but still, it's good damage. If if she happened to miss Violet, and we counter attack, she dies. No squid. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she could have been healed for the not for the <laughs> for the dual tag, but this this is hers that I hurt a little bit. We can't really apple, but I'm gonna apple anyway. Get rid of Violet, screw it. He's not really geared. What? <laughs> Say he's not really geared. Well, get rid of Violet. He's not. He was. He's gonna get hit by a guitar. And it was gonna die to the bomb too. Right here, out of my way. 
We need Kicker to counterattack. Fudge will have nothing to get rid of these. But there's also nothing we can really do. We're gonna get hit by a base guitar. No, we resisted it. We did resist it. But unfortunately we're not resisting bombs. Her bomb her chance to land bombs are really high. <laughs> That's higher than most of my units. Kick her at no. I don't I only did a thousand damage. I thought it didn't wait. Why did I do so little? I was not imagining things. <laughs> I was like, did it only do like a thousand damage? <laughs> What do I bring Akatis? What do I bring two units to deal? We're pretty squishy. This table overall is made of squish. Kick Ray is probably the tankiest one here, obviously, but Dilla Bed is also really tanky for being on an injury. I know she's on revenge. Oh, me again? Mm. The highest tech will go into her unless it's random. Which I don't mind, but we'll just get rid of her. Get rid of Dilly. Makes sense since you could actually minus one if you have a, you have soul burns. Unless you have soul burns and I'm not, and I don't know where they're coming from. Unless there's an artifact. It's probably an archer artifact. I was like, I'm thinking like, where do souls might come from? I'll teach you a lesson. But they're all up there. Assassin Kule, stuff like that. If she has threes, Politis will proc it. Hopefully we get an abyssal crown. I don't want to do this any more than you do. Here's the thing, she can S3. This is not the time. And hopefully this minus one uh 230 effect res of uh Katis. Okay, we minus one. Which is good for us. We are going to S3 just to get rid of this and see what buffs we get. <laughs> Brace yourself. And hopefully we get a good buff. Or we could just honestly uh, scooch her up. I think we could honestly S1, hopefully get a bleed, 50% check. <laughs> We did get a bleed. Okay, she's dead. Alright, we got the we got the 50% chance, which is honestly good. I want to get rid of Polite so she can S3 and do whatnot. What not. Polite is on a bulky side, but you never know. I want to see if we get it a, a stun here. Nice. <laughs> nice. <-o. laughs> Kicker is just sitting there. I want to S3 just to get rid of all this. So when Kicker uses S3 and get and, and cause a counter a counter attack. Let's proc this now since you have rocket punch, it does damage. Might as well get it over with. What S3 here? We connected. <laughs> All right, Kicker Red is doing a lot of work. <laughs> Can you guys tell that Kicker Red did a lot of work there? If it wasn't for his S1 to miss, so we could guarantee an S3 on Aruka, we would have lost that game. So guys, there you have it. That was that was probably a short GVG and a really short Arte. It's really hard to focus on some of these older units that you guys can tell, because I would say Kicker Red, pretty much Kicker Red's whole kit is like, ML can S3 or this ML cans in general, right? Or is this S2? Pretty much just ML kid. You know, vigor, counterattack, defense break, buff, provokes. So it's kind of hard to make him work when people know that he's gonna get a counter buff. He's slow, he's 90, 109 speed. He's slow as dirt. His base speed is 90. <laughs> they get 260, but he's still slow as dirt, and nobody's gonna purposely hit into him unless. They see his HP being 1300. If it's HP 1300, they're like, oh yeah, let's kill him. Right? 
And it's not he's not much of a threat. Also, he didn't counterattack much at all. He counterattacked one time. That's pretty good. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a short one. Hope you have a lovely day. Peace.